morning good afternoon wherever you are whatever time you're watching this good evening you guys always the same isn't it always the same we have just got up it is saturday we've not just got up we yeah we got about an hour ago it's half two now we had a bit of a lie-in got quite a bit to do so yeah we shouldn't have done that marcus is going to quickly do a tip run i'm gonna quickly spruce up the house and there's lots of stuff that needs to go to the tip run as you can see and yeah we're gonna go ahead and start our day and see what we end up doing i did vlog and i vlogged of a vlog a vlog that i put together a couple of weeks ago however it wasn't much substance to it didn't really do much i did cook some pasta with my sister so i'm gonna insert that clip and you can watch that and then we'll resume with this vlog so my sister's insisted on me vlogging her uh, cooking. What are you making Gima's today? Pasta. Oh, she oh. made this gima pasta last time. It was so good. So because she's missed the beginning bit, we've just chopped up two onions, thrown it in with a glass full of water, some coriander, a tablespoon, some garam masala, a tablespoon. <gasps> Hold on. Some mishaps. What uh, mince is that? Beef mince? No, lamb. I never use beef. Beef is too chewy and rubbery for me. Some cinnamon sticks. What's Mooney doing? Mm, doing the You're doing the garlic? Cardamom pods. Lychee. Lychee, I think. Put in like that much salt. Mm. Curry powder. And I've stopped getting the spicy curry powder. I've just started getting the flavoured curry powder. God. So they busy putting a tablespoon of everything in. Yeah, almost. Have we done the garlic, money? Have you done it, Myra? Are you filming my messy kitchen? <laughs> Myra, are you done it? Oh. Throwing, I, I, I was throwing a full bulb of garlic because the gima can be quite smelly otherwise. Ginger paste. How much? Like that much. Half a tablespoon. Gima, you always have to keep mincing it, otherwise it goes lumpy. So, and the reason why I boil my meat first is because it melts the fat, so you don't get any chewy fat, fatty bits. Money, what does George Pig do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you Nano. Nano's gonna shout at you. Now the water is a lot less than what it was. Gima has oil. Oil. Gima like drinks a lot of oil, so. Make sure you pun this. Pun, famous Pakistani word, pun, pun, before the oil disappears. Two peppers. The water has pretty much disappeared. The oil has been soaked up by the mint. Take out these brown things now. Add in my sweet corn. Kieran's obsessed with sweet corn. Sweet corn on everything. It's like you run through a veins. This pasta sauce from Aldi is literally the best. Coriander, but I'm being a bit lazy right now. Now, we mix together both pots. That's been cooking for about another 20 minutes now. Yeah, I like to cook the sauce. And I taste it on simmer. And I added a, a bit more salt and a bit of chili flakes. And some more coriander. Some fresh coriander. Oh, you yeah, it now. And add some cheese into the handy as well. You've got the other cheese to put on top. Yeah. You cover. I like to use two different cheeses just for flavour. And then you leave it on very low heat and gum until the cheese melts. It tastes so good. Me is so cozy. It's only her lard that uh, settles her like that. I think on me she don't like it. The na 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 garlic bread is in the oven. Delish. Oh my god, I'm so excited to eat this. Yeah, she smells so delicious. If you guys make this, you're literally gonna have to let us know. Uh, just send me a DM on Instagram or leave a comment and you will love this pasta. This pasta is so good, you guys. You will love it. Yes, I just thought it'd be a bit of a waste to waste that footage because that pasta is absolutely delicious that my sister cooks i thought it'd be nice for you guys to see that a new little recipe you know i love it giving you cooking tips and little cooking lessons even though if i don't do it myself need to crack on get rid of this we have so much that needs to go to the tip yard it is unbelievable and then we're gonna see where the day goes i don't really know what we've got planned oh if our kitchen looks different 
we are doing a little kitchen reno vlog we're not well i can't call it renovating can i because we're not renovating the kitchen we're upcycling it we're doing our kitchen up on a budget yes so hopefully you will like the end result for what we've got planned for this i can't wait because we can't afford a new kitchen and we certainly do want it done just because if you guys remember looking at my previous vlog of always in the kitchen it was just all cream cabinets so we're revamping it and we're going to show you and i'm excited for now i'm gonna make a quick salad oh, oh no i dropped the bottle hey guys so we are on our way now to marcus's mum's house we're going to take me to see her grandma because she's not seen her in a while and obviously because they don't live close by yeah, yeah she misses her lots and lots of she? so i'll have to go see her take her to your daddy um but yeah we <laughs> so we had salad at home and i had some like pre-cooked chicken from tesco's and i opened it and it actually it just smelled awful obviously it's from the halal section but yeah, it just did not taste. They were not taste good. We didn't eat it. But it did, did not smell good. That's nice anyway. It's like boiled chicken. It's, it's all right. Yeah, but it's like chicken. an easy thing to do. Like I've been making these salads. Um, if I've got a clip, I'll insert it now. Another day, another bowl. We've got hummus, spring onion, spinach, halloumi, tender stem broccoli, avocado, cucumber, and sliced turkey with herbs. Those salads are amazing. At least you chuck everything in broccoli, asparagus, spinach, the lot. And they've been so delicious. Very and just mix the meat. Not really, Marcus. No, but that's the intention now is to be on a healthy I like got a clip want to eat like better. A, a bit of a diet. It's going to start having apple cider yeah. vinegar, lemon and water to see if that helps us. Um, bought some black seed oil. And did you? The tablets, yeah, the capsules. We've got uh, the capsules. Okay. So the, the black Marcus seed oil. Got oil. Uh, yeah, so Marcus wants to eat. You know, I want to eat better. Marcus wants to go on a diet, so I'm gonna let him do what he wants to do. But these salads I've been making are absolutely delicious. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see everything that I chuck in them. And it's just so simple and it's quick and easy. And obviously, with me and Buggums, we don't always get time to cook all the big meals that we normally do. So we're gonna take her there to go see her grandma. And then what are we do after that? Well, by the time then it'll just be bedtime, but it'll be past her bedtime. But... Hey, up! It's Sunday today, so it's absolutely Baltic outside. And <laughs> Marcus and I have a couple of errands to run, so. We're gonna make a start on that as we have actually made it into the car now and we're running really behind on time so we all had a lie-in this morning actually we want we actually woke up early didn't we but we just ended up sleeping in so we now need to go get the cat's food and something for us to eat because marcus wants to cook tonight however we were gonna be adventurous and try a new recipe because marcus loves trying his new recipes but we don't think we have time do we so yeah, we're going to have to maybe stick with some like chicken salad or something, see how we get on. Mia, we've decided, is leaving our bed tonight. She, yes. She, she's outgrown her Moses basket for the last three or four nights, or may, may even be a week. We've decided to keep her with us, attachment issues. Yeah. But tonight, I think it's the night tonight where we're Tonight's the night, her yeah, car. she's outgrown her Moses basket, so we've actually got no option but to let her go into her car marcus really wanted a um a, like a sleep core bed thing no not even one of them i just said let's get a bigger moses basket yeah but i think no i think it's time because i also don't want her to get used to being with us that we've still got like a four-year-old i've got, <laughs> you know I've got I mean? attachment issues though marcus I'm not having a really I just, hard time i just love her being close to me innit? yeah marcus having a really hard time letting like the thought of letting her go but she'll be fine marcus we just need to she'll be in the next room I'll be fine when you go up to feed her. <laughs> that's going to be harder. I think that's what I'll struggle with is having to wake up, get up and like not just pick her out the mall's basket and have to go into the other room. She won't, end up, she won't end up going back into her nursery though. I can guarantee we'll feed her, fall asleep and she'll be back. Right, we'll wake up and she'll be next to us. No. 100%. No, yeah. 100%. No. You're not going to get up again. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think I'd have the it willpower to get up again. It'd be no, snuggles after to. she's got a full belly. No, you have to. You're not supposed to let babies sleep in the same bed as you anyway, so. But yeah, tonight's the night. I've cleaned out her nursery. So yeah, you guys will be a part of that. We'll see how we get on, if we cave or if we'll be fine with it. Marcus insists on always pushing Mia. I don't know when he's going to get sick of it because I really want to push her, but there we are. Was your 2020 COVID law? <laughs> Mm. 
Marcus is claiming he's the one that's invented this technique. I said I found out on my own. It's like a caveman inviting fire. Because as soon as I did it, Ersa goes, oh no, there's a better way of doing it, like chefs. Yeah, because chefs, and I just showed him how chefs do it, and he went, no, my way is better. I can guarantee you, Marcus, that is not better. It doesn't matter, as long as the food comes out nice and comfortable doing what I'm doing. Look, it's nice, isn't it? Nice and fine, isn't it? I can't believe you said I'm the one that's invented this, this way of chopping it's all right. onion. alright, alright. I'm not imagining cutting into your head right now. <laughs> Get lost. Oh, got a finger. <laughs> So Marcus and I have just pre-prepared all of the ingredients. It's the only thing that he's not doing from scratch is the breadcrumbs. But we've got everything here. We've got eggs, curry powder, Chinese curry powder, flour, oil, those prawn crackers are just for us. After, um, this is the salad. You've got spring onion, mint and coriander, sugar snap peas, lime and ribbon carrot. And you've got garlic. Is this for the sauce, Marcus? Yeah. So for the sauce, you've got the garlic, an inch of ginger, soy sauce, Honey, a halal chicken stock cube, and, and onion, the curry, and the curry powder, and the curry powder, yeah, and a crying baby, and we've got some flour there. I'll actually put the um, recipe down below anyway, so if you fancy making it, you can do that. All right, we're now plating up the katsu. What time is it, Marcus? About 11? 11 p.m. <laughs> we're having such a late dinner. The sauce looks delish. The kitchen the is a mess. On. Yeah, yeah, do that then. Oh, by the way, we abandoned the IGTV, didn't we? Because it was the first time making it, so it marks a bit more confident next time. Then we'll film it for the IGTV. <laughs> yesterday because I was gonna sign it off with you guys seeing us put Mia into her nursery however I got cold feet I couldn't do it in my head I expect her to stay in our room with us till she was about six months and that is what I want <laughs> my sister completely disagrees but honestly I just need her in I just need her there just so she's a little bit older so I can make up make sure she's alright I know there's be a lot of people that don't agree with that or whatever it is and I was one of those people I was like no Marcus we need to we need to put her in a room because Marcus is having really like bad anxiety not really bad anxiety but anyways he was like really worried and like didn't want to let her go and he was like sure we can get a cool sleeping crib I was like no nope, not doing that but honestly I'm looking into it I'm seeing if I can find one online <laughs> I just want her there till she's about six months and then I can pop her in so yeah I failed at that and I just couldn't let her go Oh well, it's a mother's prerogative, I suppose. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this vlog and then hopefully we'll catch you up on the next one. See ya.